Islam of glory. <clears throat> okay. All right. Islam of glory is the second Quran, of course. Um, there's the Quran. Surah 71. That's those two pages. No. Noah. Okay. Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim. Surah Noah. Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim. Okay. Surah Noah. Noah. 28 verses in this particular Quran. Verse 1 on to verse 28. Indeed, we sent Noah to his people, saying, Warn your people before there comes to them a painful punishment. He said, O oh, my people, indeed I am to you a clear warner, to worship Allah, fear him, and obey me. He, that is Allah, will forgive you of your sins and delay you for a specified term. Indeed, the time set by Allah when it comes will not be delayed, if you only knew. He said, My Lord, indeed, I invited my people to truth, night and day, but my invitation increased them not except in flight, that is, adver aversion. And indeed, every time I invited them that you may forgive them, they put their fingers in their ears and covered themselves with their garments, consisted and were arrogant with their great arrogance. When I invited them publicly, then I announced to them and also confided to them secretly, and said, Ask forgiveness of your Lord. Indeed, he is ever a perpetual forgiver. He will send rain from the sky upon you in continuing showers, and give you increase in wealth and children, and provide for you gardens, and provide for you rivers. What is the matter with you that you do not attribute to Allah to your grandeur? While he has created you in stages, do you not consider Allah has created seven heavens in layers, and made the moon therein a reflected light, and made the sun a burning lamp? And Allah has caused you to grow from the earth a progressive growth? Then he will return you into it and extract you another extraction. And Allah has made for you the earth an expanse, that you may follow therein roads of passage. Noah said, My Lord, indeed they have disobeyed me and have followed him whose wealth and children will not increase him except in loss. And they conspired an immense conspiracy and said, Never leave your gods and never leave Wad or Sua or Yaguf and Yauk and Nazar, and already they have misled many, and my Lord, do not increase the wrongdoers except in error, because of their sins they were drowned and put into the fire, and they found not themselves besides Allah any helpers. And Noah said, My Lord, do not leave upon the earth from among the disbelievers an inhabitant. Indeed, if you leave them, they will mislead your servants, and not beget except every wicked one, and confess. My Lord, forgive me and my parents, and whoever enters my house a believer, and the believing men and believing women, and do not increase wrongdoers except in destruction. Okay. Right. Islam of glory, Noah. Obviously, Islam of glory, glory, we're pretty much Noah. It's quite obviously the yeah. advancing Noah movement is a Noah high movement. And um, Islam of glory is part of the advancing government. It's an assembly of faith of the advancing government. And it's, its mother fellowship is the universal faith assembly. Each of the assembly of faith have a different mother fellowship, one of the seven divine fellowships, which is its mother fellowship, as it were, its parent fellowship, which is sort of like big, big daddy, big money support, in a sense. So, um, yeah, we know why it's in Surah 71 of the Quran is Noah. So, obviously, that's, obviously that's going to be.
be something of a thing for us. Now, there it is. Now, of course, my official position of the Quran is that it's generally invention. But it's generally developed by Muhammad and perhaps some, some others. But it's not really quite the word of God, the word of Allah, which is the Arabic word of God. But it's developed theology from someone who was having a bit of a go, like Jesus, Jesus of Nazareth was having a bit of a go. That's our general position. But it is a monotheism book. It is a teacher of monotheistic faith and ideas and religious standards. And we, we have a we have Islam of glory with a second cry as an idea to promote religious virtue and uh, lifestyle and thought and actions and behaviors which are morally sound enough for human beings to function and create the image of a holy God. So, um, Surah 71, in this sense, is uh, its, its importance is to sort of use it as a bit of a basis of sort of teaching some of the ideas we see. That idolatry is disavowed, for example, just the condemning of false gods. And there's other things going on there, as so teaching the idea that you should serve the Lord and punish wrongdoers and things like that. So there's judgment and other things. So it's still a sense of one looks like a useful enough sort of teaching to be part of the second Quran Islam of glory culture. And it's, it's about Noah, so it's probably something for us.